Now we'll take one example question based on that we will able to make more clear how to deal with this type of situations. Like one uh, situation has given Dhoni average runs after n innings is 65. Means Dhoni has played n innings. We don't know the value of n. n is a variable here. But his average is after n inning is 65. Next inning, very next inning after n inning means you can say it will be n plus oneth inning. I am giving you extra information that is not needed here, but for clarity of thought, I am giving you. This is already, this is already understood. Means next inning means n plus one inning. He is making 89 runs. Means after n inning, average is 65. Next inning he is coming to play. He is making the 89. Now find the new average. How to find new average? One of the option we have, we don't have the value of n one one of the main thing if we have the value of n then we will easily find the value of the average just either you can apply the sum some like uh, s equal to a into n or based on the deviation method or change in the value you will able to find but just suppose your value of n is not given then first we have to evaluate how many values of n can be possible how many values of n can be possible. What will happen here? Like existing average is 65. Next inning he has made 89. Means adding the number n is increasing by 1. Earlier n inning now it is increased by 1. Means n is increasing. Sum will increase. Average will increase or maybe decrease depends on the number whatever we are adding. This number whatever we are adding 89. 89 is 100% sure. We can say it is a more than existing average that is 65. If it is more than 65, then what will happen? 65 will go there to settle the average and remaining extra number will distribute to the other numbers. You can say like this is your one box. Now you are bringing the box that is bigger than that. Then what will happen? Just you chop off this extra part will distribute over all the boxes means if number whatever you are adding that is more than existing average, then average will suit up. Then 100% sure here, average will be more than 65. That is 100% sure. Average cannot go less, cannot go below 65. How much it will suit up? That only we have to analyze very carefully. 89 minus, 60, 89 minus 65, it is 24. Means 24 is extra. 65 will go to that box. Whatever average is there, that will settle down. What is extra? 24. 24 we have to distribute over n plus 1 inning. How much distribution it will happen? That much average will suit up. That is very simple logic. Means n plus 1 inning happen. Average we have taken given everywhere 65. Now total n plus 1 box you have. You have extra number 24. You will give little 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 to every all n plus 1 number. All you will distribute equally not unequally. If you will distribute unequally, then you will not able to measure the average. You have to distribute equally. Then what will happen? Equal way average will suit up. All the boxes will go up little, little, little and average will go to the next line. Okay. Then this 24 will distribute over n plus 1 and what will be the distribution number 24 divided by n plus 1 that each number will suit up by that one. That much amount each number or each inning a score line will suit up. Average will increase by same number. Means earlier average was this one. Now all number has increased by 24 by n plus 1. Average also will suit up by 24 by n plus 1. Now issue is we don't have the value of C n. The new average we can say it will become 65 plus 24 divided by n plus 1. Very simple. That is additional. 